Welcome to Boswell TV. This video will show you how to fit an oxygen acetylene professional gas kit. First, open the toolbox and remove the top tray to get the two regulators and a spanner out. Fit the black color coated oxygen regulator to the oxygen gas cylinder and use the spanner provided to tighten it. Then fit the red color coated acetylene regulator to the acetylene gas cylinder. Now, we can fit the long flashback aerostores to the regulators. Please make sure to follow the color-coded instruction and use the spanner to tighten it. Continue with the 10-meter twin hose. Fit the blue color-coded hose to the oxygen flashback aerostor, then continue with the other hose. Please use the spanner to tighten it. Now, we can fit the short flashback aerostor to the torch handle. Remember to follow the color-coded instructions. Then continue to fit the other end of the twin hose to the short flashback aerostores that are now fitted to the torch handle. For cutting setup, fit the cutting attachment to the torch handle and finger tighten. Then remove the head screw to attach a cutting nozzle. Use the spanner to tighten it. Tighten the oxygen regulator first before releasing the pressure on the oxygen gas cylinder. Loosen both oxygen knobs, then release pressure on the oxygen regulator. To get the correct pressure setting, please follow the instructions located on the toolbox cover. Tighten the front oxygen knob before continuing with the acetylene pressure setting. Please make sure to tighten the regulator first before releasing the pressure on the gas cylinder. After the correct pressure setting, tighten back the acetylene knob on the handle. To light the flame, release a small amount of acetylene gas from the torch handle, then use the spark lighter to ignite. After that, release more acetylene gas, then release oxygen gas to create a blue flame. Pull the trigger to increase the heat and adjust the oxygen knob to suit. Cutting application. Heat up a few seconds first before pulling the trigger to cut. Please wear the Boswell Flip-Up Shade 5 goggles for clear viewing and eye protection and Boswell welding gloves for this. Slowly move the torch to the desired position to cut. For heating setup, fit the gas mixer in between the heating tip and torch handle. Finger tighten. Make sure the heating tip is straight along with the torch handle. To light the flame, release a small amount of acetylene gas from the torch handle, then use the spark lighter to ignite. After that, release more acetylene gas, then release oxygen gas to create a blue flame. Please wear the Boswell Flip-Up Shade 5 goggles for clear viewing and eye protection for this application. Heat up until the raver's glowing red, then slowly bend it. For welding or brazing setup, fit the welding tip and gas mixer to the torch handle. Finger tighten it. Make sure these fittings are straight. Please check the instructions to choose the right welding tip size. To light the flame, Release a small amount of acetylene gas from the torch handle, then use the spark lighter to ignite. After that, release more acetylene gas, then release oxygen gas to create a blue flame. Heat up the copper for a few seconds first, then place the flux-coated brazing rod to the heated area, then the rod will melt on it. For roller guide setup, place the cutting attachment head onto the roller guide, tighten the front screw. Then the back nut to secure the cutting head. Adjust the height approximately 5 mm from the ground, then test roll it. There are many ways to use a roller guide. Use chalk to draw the line. Then follow the line to cut. 
or roll on the line to cut. Or use a tube as a ruler to cut. For circle cutting, remove one side roller bar then replace with the long bar then tighten it. Move the pin to adjust the desired diameter length. This bar kit allows for accurate circles up to 43 centimeters. Use a hammer and a punch pin to create a divot where the guide can sit. Once the guide is in place, slowly rotate the torch around the pivot point. Thank you for watching.